What up, guys? Welcome to Downtown Ray Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Bogota, Colombia, for Tuesday, March 5th, 2024, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mel. That's R E Y M E L O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Magnolia Pictures released a teaser for Thelma on Tuesday. The film opens June 21st in theaters. Hyping up June Squibb as the new action hero, the teaser begins with shots of Willem Dafoe, Tony Ja, Simon Pegg, and more actors in action. Those are clips from Magnolia's releases like The Hunter and Ong Bak, hence the absence of more traditional action heroes. The trailer also says June Squibb is Thelma, a tradition of announcing that action heroes could be the titles of their movies. From Steven Seagal is Out of Justice to Jason Steinem in The Beekeeper. Uh, Squid plays a grandmother who falls for a phone scam and then sends cash in the mail. Thelma is set out to get her money back. UPI's review of Thelma at the Sundance Film Festival praises its uh, for mining tension from Thelma's limited action. Squibb told UPI in an interview she appreciated the way Thelma gave elderly characters agency. The teaser includes moments of Squibb picking up a gun and walking away from an explosion with Shaft actor the late Richard Roundtree. Disney Plus released the teaser of Descendants, The Rise of Red Tuesday. The fourth film in the franchise premieres this summer. Um, Uma, played by China Annie McLean returns as the principal of Oradon Prep. The new principal decides to invite descendants from other kingdoms to attend the school. Uma personally invites Red, the daughter of the Queen of Hearts, played by Rita Ora, from Wonderland. Singer, songwriter, actor Kylie Cantrell will play Red. The Descendants films makes the children of Disney villains the heroes of their own movies. Dove Cameron plays Mal, Magnificent's daughter. Uma was the daughter of Ursula, introduced in Descendants 2. The late Cameron boys played Carlos, the son of Corilla DeVille. Uh, McLean said in a statement, I was apprehensive to revisit the Descendants world at first because losing Cam was the first heartbreak I've, ne- I've ever experienced. Once I saw how excited the new generation of kids were, it reminded me of myself when we created the original films. In the new film, Red teams up with Cinderella's daughter, Chloe, played by Malaya ba- uh, Baker. Brandy Norwood plays Cinderella, a role she played as a teenager in a 1997 TV movie. Magnolia Network announced Tuesday the new f- series Fixer Upper, The Lake House, will premiere June 2nd. The latest in Chip and Joanna Gaines' series will air on Magnolia Network and HDTV and stream on Max and Discovery+. Plus. The Lake House is the latest home the Gaines will renovate in Waco, Texas. Their first renovation in the late Waco neighborhood, the Gaines plan to flip the mid-century modern lake house when completed. A teaser shows Joanna arriving at the home looking for Chip. She finds Chip in the late floating in an inner tube. The Fixer Upper premiered in 2014 on HDTV. Since it ended in 2018, the Gaines launched Magnolia in 2021. Chip and Joanna Gaines said in a statement, Though a lot has changed and evolved in the decades between then and now, our love for home is still at the heart of everything we do. We feel honored that we get to continue pouring into the stories of these homes across Waco. The Lake House will be six episodes and premiere two per week in June. Apple TV Plus is teasing the new show Sugar. The streaming service shared a trailer for the mystery series Tuesday featuring Colin Farrell. Sugar is created in an executive produced by Mark Protostevich, who wrote I Am Legend and the Old Boy Remake. Farrell, Audrey Sean, and Simon Kinberg also serve as executive producers. Farrell plays John Sugar, an American private investigator, on the heels of the mystery disappearance of Olivia Siegel, the beloved granddaughter of legendary Hollywood producer Jonathan Siegel. An official synopsis reads, as Sugar tries to determine what happens to Olivia, he will also unearth Siegel's family secrets, some very recent, others long buried. The trailer also hints that Sugar, played by Farrell, has secrets of his own. Kirby Howell Baptiste, Amy Ryan, James Cromwell, Anna Gunn, Dennis uh, Butakaris, 
Nate Caudry, Sidney Chandler, and Alex Hernandez also star. Sugar will have a two-episode premiere on April 5th on Apple TV+, Plus, with new episodes to file Friday. The series marks Farrell's first starring TV role since the BBC Two series, The North Water, in 2021. Showtime is giving a glimpse of the new show in a, Ge- a Gentleman in Moscow. The network shared a trailer for the series Tuesday featuring Hugh McGregor and Mary Elizabeth Weinstead. A Gentleman in Moscow is based on the Amor Tal's novel of the same name. The series is produced by Lionsgate Television in association with Paramount, with Ben Vanstone as showrunner and executive producer. A Gentleman in Moscow takes place in the aftermath of the Russian Revolution. McGregor plays Count Alexander Rostov who is banished by Soviet Tribune to an attic room in the opulent Hotel Metropole and threatened with death if he ever sets foot outside again. The official synopsis reads as the years and pass and some of the most tumultuous decades in Russian history unfold outside the hotel doors. Rostov's reduced circumstances provides him entry into a much larger world of emotional discovery. As he builds a new life within the walls of the hotel, he discovers the true value of friendship, family, and love. The cast also includes Weinstead as actress Anna Urbanova, Alexa Godal as the Count's unlikely young friend Nina, Johnny Harris as a secret police officer Osip, and Fahinti Bagalgan as Mishka the Count's best friend from the university. A Gentleman in Moscow premieres March 29th on streaming and demand on Paramount Plus subscribers with the Paramount Plus with Showtime plans before it, its on-air debut March 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Paramount Plus with Showtime. McGregor and Weinstein, who married in April 2022, previously collaborated on Fargo Season 3. Lindsay Lohan opened up about her son, Lua, during an appearance in The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The 37-year-old actress discussed Lua, her seven-month-old son, with her husband, Bather Shamas, during Monday's episode of the NBC Late Night Talk Show. Lohan told Fallon that everything's great at home, adding that Lua is everything. She said, he's like my world. You forget about what life was before you have the baby, and the baby makes sure of that. Lohan confirmed that professional basketball player Steph Curry and his wife, actress Aisha Curry, are her son's godparents. She then explained how chef Michael Mina introduced her to Aisha Curry in Dubai. Lohan said she happened to be coming to Dubai, and we met, and we just clicked right off the bat. It's so funny because when you get older in life, you don't make adult friends and friendships that grow. So we clicked right away, and she's been with me since. Lohan and Curry start together in the upcoming romantic comedy, Irish Wish, which premieres March 15th on Netflix. During her visit on tonight's show, Lohan and Fallon also recreated an iconic scene from Lohan's 1998 movie, The Parent Trap, where her dual role characters, identical twins separated at birth, discover their shared love for Oreos with peanut butter. Fox has renewed crime scene kitchen for a third season monday season three will air sometime during the 2024 2025 season joe McHale will return to host with judges chef uh, curtis stone and cake artist yolanda gamp in crime scene kitchen contestants must figure out a dessert using only crumbs remnants and hints as clues previous seasons of crime scene kitchen ran through the summer of 2021 and 2023 Mikhail likened it to a culinary twist on Forensic Files in a press release for the show's first season. Mikhail also stars in the scripted comedy Animal Control for Fox. Fox announced Monday that Liam Rhines will appear on March 13th's episode of The Masked Singer. Rhines will sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow on a Wizard of Oz theme night. Rhymes competed on a mass singer in 2020. She was revealed to be the sun and won season four. The 27 second clip features only Rhymes closing the song with the lyrics, Birds fly over the rainbow, why oh why can I? Judy Garden sang Somewhere Over the Rainbow in the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz. Four new celebrities will perform other songs from the film. Other theme nights this season includes Transformers, Billy Joel, Girl Groups, Queen, TV Themes, Shower Anthems, and Soundtrack of My Life. Season 11 of The Masked Singer premieres Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Fox. The show will continue to air at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday this season.
The players of Major League Baseball, the show 24, will get the chance to use female hitters, fielders, and pitchers for the first time the video game's creators announced on Tuesday. The feature will allow users to create women players and use them as part of the game's Road of the Show storyline. A preview for the game's show, several women wearing jerseys for Major League Baseball and All-Star teams playing in the game. Sony Interactive Entertainment says in a news release, this path will include all existing features of Road to the Show, with the addition of a unique to women storyline following a lifelong friendship as it develops in professional baseball. Major League Baseball The Show 24 will be available March 19th on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series XX, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. The list price range between $59.99 and $69.99, depending on the device. Molly Braley, the narrative designer for the game, said in the release, this feature will inspired by, is inspired by the many stories of women in baseball. Throughout history, women have been making waves in the sport. These include legends such as Tony Stone, who was one of the first women to ever play professional baseball, and has a new storyline for Major League Baseball The Show 24. Our team wants to create something where dreams become a reality, and we felt like adding this to the road to the show was a perfect opportunity that gave our players the options to experience this. Braley said game creators interviewed some of the most successful women in baseball when crafting the new uh, game mode. Uh, they said this is a feature that goes beyond simply allowing players to create women ball players in the game. It is also meant to highlight the strength, tenacity, and resilience that is to take a break into the sport, but not shy away from the struggles that many have faced. The story of adversity and triumph, one that we started telling with Negro League storylines, is one that so many people can relate to, and reflecting this in a video game is something I care very deeply and am very proud of. Brandon Hunt is a dad of two. The Ted Lasso co-creator and star welcomed his second child, son Archie Felix, with his fiancée Shannon Nelson on Friday. Hunt shared the news Monday on Instagram alongside photos of his baby boy. He and Nelson also have a three-year-old son, Sean. Um, he said, we're supposed to go to Cedar sinai today to have a baby. Instead, we got home today because our fourth family member felt like rolling up three days earlier. Sail so held to Ultra Ball Felix Nelson Hunt. Archie will do, born Friday, March 1st, coming in at 9 pounds. He's in perfect little health, and his weary hero of a mom at Snoop's Shan is recovering peacefully. He looks just like his brother, and not sure about hair color yet, though. He's met his bro and his grandmother, and he's even watched his first Arsenal game. He's beautiful and perfect, and we are in love. Actor Jaime Camille and actress Emma Hunton were among those to congratulate Hunt in the comments. Uh, Hunt and Nielsen got engaged in June 2023 and announced in September that they were expecting their second child. Hunt is best known for playing coach Willis Beard on Ted Lasso, mm -hmm. which went which ended in May after three seasons on Apple TV+. The Flash star Grant Gustin and his wife Ellie Tama are expecting their second baby together. The couple announced the news on Instagram on Sunday with the caption shaping up to be an exciting year. Gustin and Tama had their first child in 2021. Their daughter, uh, Jupner Grace, is now two. In November, it was announced that Gustin will make his Broadway debut in Water for Elephants. The show will open on March 21st at the Imperial Theater. Based on a novel of the same name by Sarah Gouin, it was adapted as a film starring Reese Witherspoon and Robert Pattinson in 2011. The Pixies announced Monday that, bass, that bassist Paz Lechanton was leaving the band. Lechanton was with the band since 2014. She performed on albums Head Carrier, Beneath the Eerie, and Dog Durrell. She will be concentrating on other projects. A post on the Pixies' Instagram said, We're grateful for Paz's many contributions and wish her all the very best going forward. Emma Richardson will join the band, which will include Black Francis, Joey Santiago and Dave Lovering on bass and make her worldwide debut uh, Friday in Dublin during the Pixies' Bossa Nova Times Trumpet de la Monde European Tour. Les Chantin replaced Kim Shattuck, 
known for her 1990s band, The Mups. Chatuck was with the Pixies briefly in 2013 after longtime bassist Kim Deal left that year to concentrate on her, bra- on her band, The Breeders. Chatuck died in 2019 after a two-year battle with ALS. Colombian singer and songwriter Carlos Vives will be presented with the Academy with the American Society Composers, Authors, and Publishers or ASAP Founders Award in Miami on April second at, at at Premio ASCAP. ASCAP presents the award every year to songwriters and composers who inspire their fellow musicians. Past ASCAP founding uh, award recipients include Mark Anthony, Ruben Blades. Uh, Garth Brooks, Alan Jackson, Emmylou Harris, Billy Joel, Paul McCartney, and Carly Simon. Paul Williams, the ASCAP uh, chairman of the board and president, said Carlos has led a new generation of Latin artists bringing Colombian music sounds to music fans around the world. Vivas, who has 18 Latin Grammy Awards and two Grammy Awards and is in the Billboard Latin Music Award Hall of Fame, said he is thankful for the recognition. He says, it is an honor to receive an award that celebrates my career and contributions. I'm looking forward to continuing to share the gift of music with new generations of songwriters and musicians. And finally, Foo Fighters' Dave Grohl and Only Murders in the Building star Martin Short joined the lineup for the 8th Annual Love Rocks New York City event. The event, which benefits God's Loves We Deliver, will take place March 7th at the Beacon Theater in New York City. The concert will be stream, live stream. Previously announced performers include Hozier, the Black Keys, Tom Morello, formerly uh, of Rage Against the Machine, Nile Rogers, Trombone Shorty, and Jess uh, and Josh Stone. Martin will be joining previously announced hosts Conan O'Brien, Tracy Morgan, and Jim Gafkin. God Loves We Deliver provides meals for chronically ill New Yorkers. In 2023, St. Vincent, John Muir Trio, James Taylor, Cheryl Crow, Pat Benatar, and Neil Gerardo performed at the fundraising concert. And as your entertainment report for Tuesday, March 5th, 2024, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.